Now that's what I call hate mail part one. This is YouTube, not you porn. Children visit this website, children visit you porn too. Maybe that's why you made that video about pornography. You're trying to arouse young children because that sort of thing turns you on. Let Jesus change your life. Let him come into your life. Whoa. All you have to do is take your hands out of your trousers and pick up a Bible. You won't ever have a sexual thought again and you'll be happy for it. Pat Condell is trying to expose the Muslim immigrants coming over here, trying to force Islam on all of us. I hope one day some bearded towhead is shouting at you to pray towards Mecca and you remember how people like you let this happen. Stop trying to impose your hippie, communist, liberal, anti-anti-PC fascist views on everyone and open your eyes to the truth. You won't convince anyone Pat is wrong. Funny how you mixed breed first generation immigrants come to our country and try to promote immigration, mongrelization and Islamization of this continent. If Henry VIII was around today, he would give traitors like you the same treatment he gave one of his wives. You are the biggest fucking weirdo I've seen in my life. What's wrong? Is your Filipino boyfriend lobbing you off below or what, you nonce? You're an idiot. You have homosexual faggot tattoos and basically you don't deserve to be British when I was born here. Tough shit. So here's the deal. Yeah, you go suck off Nick Clegg in the back of your hippie van and leave politics to those who know anything about it. What, you mean like Nick Clegg? You're a junky fucking idiot. I really hope you get raped by some gorilla faced shit in trackies and baseball cap, you fudge packer. Raw Britannia. Leave YouTube now. Either that or take a break. Lower yourself into the darkness like before. You know you want to. You're nothing but a worthless cunt. Reading this email probably makes you want to cry. Because you know as well as I do you, that you belong to be shooting heroin. Be true to yourself. Stop lying. You're a twat. You must be a dumbass to think global warming is real. Almost all climate geologists agree global warming is not caused by CO2. What a nigger loving whore you are. I hope you get robbed and raped by niggers. Is this Mel Gibson sending me this? I can't understand a fucking word you say. Is you from Britland or the UK or England and some shit? You need to stop taking so many drugs and start smoking some fucking weed, man. You are seriously so fucking ugly and hideous I want to puke. There is a god, an intelligent designer, and he created you. Atheists don't exist, because when you say I'm an atheist, what you're saying is I am a theist. So think about it. How can animals be gay? What the fuck? Are you saying that when my dog humps his leg, that's because he's a faggot? Bullshit. Do you support the BNP? If so, fuck off back to Australia. Islam ain't a race, it's a religion. It isn't racist to criticise some bearded, cave-dwelling, rat-headed sand niggers. I pray to God that you get cancer and die. Islam is a tolerant and peaceful faith. That was from a user called Anti Big Noses. Fuck off, you pedo-terrorist lover. Hitler was an atheist. God made him an atheist. God sent Hitler to kill the Jews, and he made him an atheist because only an atheist could commit that kind of atrocity. Richard the Dick Coughlin, 666. Good night. May God Everything be Everything you're about to hear is straight from the mouth of drinking with bo about Bob fans. I hope you enjoy, as we present Now That's What I Call Hate Mail 2. Hello, you dead fetus-faced AIDS bollock. I just want to say that you have to be the biggest, bitchiest atheist cunt I've ever seen. Go suck the amazing atheist cock, then spread your butt cheeks for him and get AIDS. It already looks like you have AIDS or HIV. I fucking hope you fucking die and that you never ever get, never ever get, you ever get Coughlin666 channel back. Have fun roasting in hell. I can't believe you haven't changed your mind yet. Jesus died for you. Do you not feel guilty when you're sitting there watching strong young muscular men and boys pump their seed into each each other. How do you think that makes Jesus feel? He looked like he was joining it on the video. Atheists are even worse than Muslims. At least Muslims bow down and take God's grace, even if it's the God that doesn't exist. That's how we feel about you, you dumb fuck. Just how, like you, worship the false God of there being no God. You come accepting pile of dog anus juice. You're weak and not an smart person. You look like a freaking zombie who dropped his head in acid. Slipped and fell 352 times on your head. Very specific, that. Niggers are the ones that jump people in packs. I never saw a nigger fight a fair fight in his life. Muhammad Ali. I used to get in fights with niggers all the time. I wonder why. I fought many an ape, and I know what makes them tick. He actually put a question mark after make sure. You Europeans are the most despicably stupid brainwashed fucktards on this planet. I'm sick of you and your undeserved sense of superiority. 
Mm. Every argument you ever make about the US is an ignorant, hypocritical, misinformed and deliberately one-sided load of nonsense. Thank you, Mr. Objectivity there. I can't believe America had to pay niggers to wash their genitals. It would be better off letting these monkeys catch AIDS. Oh, I get it, you're British. Why don't you mind your own fucking business and fix your own problems? You like Obama, but yet he hates your hero, Winston Churchill. You are a fool. You are a goddamn liberal asswipe piece of dog shit. You obviously haven't a clue what the fuck you're talking about. You are physical proof that an ass really can speak. This country is fucking broke. The money is all fucking gone. We are fucking bankrupt. Bob's point, you fucking moron, is that with all the financial problems right here, right now, our goddamn government's focus has no fucking business anywhere but right here, right now, you goddamn fucking asswipe. Since when has America become the country that cares about other poor shitty little countries that are better off dead? If these people don't know how to wash their own dicks, if you love these nignogs so much, you yourself can go and help wash these niggers' ball. May you one day wake up with a Muslim knife next to your throat. What the hell is a Muslim knife? The question has to be asked, if these people have existed for over 6,000 years, specifically the people there now, and haven't yet figured out how to wash the balls in the privacy of their own home, are these people worth taking up any more space on the planet? I'm not racist because blacks aren't human. Just because they are trained to dress like humans and parrot words like us doesn't make them civilized beings. They are more animal than human, a mongoloid humanoid shaped being if you will. And if there is a god, I believe he created them as elementals or a slave race for mundane labour. I think the real argument here is why a liberal Jew librarian like you is on here trying to spread his agenda. If you don't like Bob and you like your money going to clean niggers nutsacks, then quit watching his videos you democratic piece of shit. No one likes you here, we wish you would just die. Thank you for watching, Richard the Dick Coughlin 616. Good night, may God be less.